Part of the mission of the Center for a New American Security is inspiring and educating the next generation of national security leaders. I'm deeply honored to be with you today to pay tribute to some of them in memory of one of the very best thinkers and leaders of that generation, First Lieutenant Andrew Basevich, Jr. Just weeks before the first CNAS annual conference in May of 2007, First Lieutenant Andrew Basevich, Jr. was killed in action in Saladin Province, Iraq. Lieutenant Basevich, an outstanding young scholar, officer, and leader, was the son of Professor and Mrs. Andrew Basevich. The Basevich family graciously allowed CNAS to establish a fellowship in Andrew's honor. And for the past six years, the Basevich Fellowship has been awarded annually to that member of the CNAS family whose standard of performance, determination to excel, and dedication to public service most honor the memory of Lieutenant Basevich. We're particularly pleased today to have Professor and Mrs. Basevich here with us, along with four previous Basevich Fellows, to recognize this year's recipient of this distinct honor. CNAS's first Basevich Fellow was Sean Brimley, who is with us today, and you saw him earlier this morning. Sean, a one-time Canadian infantry officer, is now the Vice President and Director of Studies at CNAS. After his service on the National Security Council as the Director of Strategic Plans and service before that to the Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, CNAS co-founder and now co-chair of the Board of Directors, Michelle Flournoy. The second Basevich Fellow was Narav Patel. After years of loyal service as Senior Advisor to the Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia, Dr. Kurt Campbell, our other co-founder and now co-chair, Narab became Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Strategy and Multilateral Affairs and now works with Kurt at the Asia Group. Narab is in Asia today and can't be with us. The third Basevich Fellow, Christine Parthamore, now works in the Office of the Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics. Christine played a critical role in the evolution of CNAS's work on natural security, begun by Kurt Campbell and by Sharon Burke, who also serves in the Pentagon, continuing to improve the efficiency of the world's single largest consumer of energy, the Department of Defense. And Christine is also traveling today on the nation's business and couldn't be with us. The fourth Basevich Fellow was Brian Burton. Brian, my long-suffering research assistant, became the military legislative assistant to Senator Joe Lieberman and now serves as deputy legislative director for Senator Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota. And Brian, we're pleased to have you with us. The fifth Basevich Fellow was Travis Sharp. Travis, who is pursuing his doctorate at Princeton University, recently published a critical analysis of the administration's defense budget submission. We expect Travis to return to Washington after his studies to continue his important work in defense budget analysis. And Travis is here reminding us that we're all going to work for him someday. <laughs> Last year's Basevich Fellow was Will Rogers. Will came to CNAS to work on the natural security portfolio in 2009. He also labored diligently to sustain and improve the Professor Joseph Nye internship program at CNAS, which recruits and cares for the interns who do so much of the hard work that makes not just CNAS, but all of Washington function. Will recently became the military legislative assistant to Senator Brian Schatz of Hawaii, where he focuses his efforts around defense energy and climate change as a national security issue. Will, you're looking good. These great young leaders have worked diligently to build a safer, more secure America. It's my honor to introduce a seventh who demonstrates that same commitment to national service. Zach Hosford was one of the first to bravely follow when Kurt and Michelle decided in 2006 that what Washington really needed was another think tank. Zach was already an experienced national security hand by that point, having worked in the Arms Control Association here in Washington and at the Palestinian Authority's Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Ramallah. Here at CNAS, he's done important work on American and Asia Pacific defense and security policy, including weapons acquisition strategy and nuclear and biological weapons policy. A proud graduate of Franklin and Marshall College, Zach also earned a master's degree in the security studies program at Georgetown while he was working at CNAS. But as important as his intellectual contributions have been, I'd like to highlight Zach's leadership and service 
to the next generation of national security leaders. For the past several years, Zach has worked with Steve Began and me in CNAS's Next Generation National Security Leaders Program, aimed at identifying and assembling a diverse and bipartisan group of top young analysts and practitioners to think creatively about U.S. national security issues. This program is intended to inspire young national security thinkers and practitioners with the same desire to make a difference that drove Lieutenant Basevich. And I'm very pleased that so many of our next generation fellows are here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, as our nation remains at war, I would ask you to stand in recognition of those who now serve in harm's way and in memory of all of America's sons and daughters who have fallen on foreign fields. In enduring recognition of Lieutenant Andrew Basevich's exceptional commitment to the service of our nation, it is my honor to introduce Zach Hosford, the first Lieutenant Andrew Basevich, Jr. National Security Fellow for 2013. Thank you. Thank you, John. Since I joined CNAS shortly after it was founded, uh, it's been incredibly gratifying to see that it has thrived so much in the subsequent years, and uh, I have no doubt that it will continue to do so uh, in the years forward. And I hope that my tenure in this position doesn't bring about a premature end to the organization. <laughs> um, in all seriousness, note, I'd like to say that uh, it's just an absolute honor and quite humbling experience to be named the Basevich Fellow this year. Uh, Lieutenant Basevich's sense of duty was so strong that he was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for his country. And I can't tell you how much that means to me, to those at CNAS, um, and how proud I am to work for an organization that makes sure that we never get too far removed from the consequences of national security decision making that we comment on and think about and write about. So I see it as my duty and, and our duty to work as hard as we can to live up to those high standards set by Lieutenant Basevich, by Dr. Basevich, um, by all those out there who serve the country and by my predecessors in this position uh, who have selflessly dedicated themselves uh, to U.S. national security policy. Sean Brimley, Narav Patel, Christine Parthmore, Brian Burton, Travis Sharp, and Will Rogers have all left incredibly big shoes to fill. They did great work while at CNAS, and after leaving, went on to do even more great work and, and contributed greatly to U.S. national security policy in, in various forms and in different aspects of, uh, of the U.S. government. Um, and I'd be thrilled if I can make just a fraction of the contributions that they made in, in their various positions. Uh, I'd also like to thank Kurt Campbell, Michelle Flournoy, Richard Danzig, the great leadership team at CNAS for all they've done and of course the Basevich family for graciously allowing me to, to hold this title uh, for the year. So I very much uh, look forward to working with the great Asia Pacific security team and the rest of my colleagues at CNAS going forward. Thank you.